Phillies roster as currently, uh, I would say constructed, but I think a, a better word would be, I don't know, massively compiled to hit smash home runs, I guess. Uh, Nick Castellanos, Kyle Schwarber, these guys are already teaming up with Bryce Harper and Reese Hoskins and JT Real Muto. What are you making of, let's just talk about the lineup first. What are you making of this Phillies lineup as constructed? It should be tough to face. Uh, you know, you're going to have a lot of power, um, a lot of guys that get on base at a high rate, which is important. And just guys that, that work good at bats and, that, like I said, that can hit for power in a ballpark that's made for, for this kind of lineup. So it's going to be – and if you look back, 2007, that's the, the modern era in Philly's history of runs run, total runs scored. So that whole, you know, run of Philly's baseball was built on a really great offense. And that's what they're going to try and do again. That's the way to win in this ballpark is to go on offense. And the, the offense is obviously what everyone's talking about. And, you know, it's, it's exci- that's exciting. That's, that's what you want to talk about. But you can't ignore the defense. And I, I definitely have concerns. I think it's fair to be concerned about defense. I remember a year ago thinking about this and saying, well, you know, the Phillies can out hit their defense that, that the way the game's going high scoring out hit, they can, they can overcome that. That's not a big deal. And, and then, then you saw what happened. The defense was historically bad all season. So that, that's still, I'm not trying to like be the negative guy, but that's, that's a realistic concern is you have a lot sure. of guys that are not plus defenders in the field right now. So we'll see how that goes, but you couldn't, they couldn't fix their defense in one off season, but they, they did have a chance to add two power hitters in Schwarber and Castellano. So, so they, they took a chance on that, that you can fix your defense next year. If it doesn't work, um, the starting pitching still is a question mark for me. Wheeler, you know, obviously we don't know how healthy he's going to be. And Ranger Suarez was excellent at the second half of last season, but I, I need to see more before, you know, you're counting on him. Zach Eflin still coming back from surgery. So the pitching, the, bull, the starting pitching, the bullpen is, is a question mark. But it, it, you're allowed to be excited, I would say, about this team because of what they did. They're, they're going over the competitive balance tax, and they have a lineup that, that's going to hit. And mm. it's going to hit in a ballpark that is asking to be hit in. Uh, how, how confident can I be? How confident should the fan base be that they can end the playoff drought considering the boosted lineup and the playoff expansion? Yeah, I, I think the extra playoff spot to me makes it makes that give, gives you more confidence there but it's still going to be tough i think they're the third best team in the nl east right now yeah i think the braves and the mets are probably ahead of them um obviously the braves are the world champions so that's that's an easy one but mm-hmm. I, I still man if, if they don't make the playoffs this year after going over the luxury tax and getting these guys this off season and i just it, it's got to end eventually right no. <laughs> no, I, I, hey, I they do. finally won a World Series in 08, and I didn't see that one coming. So that's, that's true. true. Uh, I think they make the playoffs this year. I, I do. If, as you know, I'm more confident this year than I have been in the past previous seasons about their playoff chances. That's all I need right now. That's all I need to get me by the next couple of weeks before the season starts. There we go. 